pretty solid standing up there, right? Eh? You're gonna sit up here. Okay. Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode Out There Doing It with Jay Wilds Brought to you by your local hunting and fishing Yesterday we flew into the mountains here We've got a base camp just up the valley So if you're new to the channel guys, we're all about wilderness hunting Lots of cool hunting content, so make sure you stick around And for all you OGs, welcome back I've been glassing all morning, I've been out here for a few hours now Just looking across to these faces here And also, all these faces up here There's a few species that we could find in here Have a look at this guys This leads right up to our camp Real nice stream, eh? Probably quite hard to see, but that tree there ripped up by stags this year by the look. I'll follow the creek back up home. Back to camp, see how those other guys have been getting on this morning. Pretty hungry. Oh man, I hope those other guys have seen something. I got no messages on the Henry. Plan was if we, if we saw a stag or anything like that, we were gonna let each other know and we'll get together and make a move on it, but I got no messages. They're probably back at camp now. Good morning. What is it? Porridge. How'd you guys get on this morning? Not much happening, no. I didn't see nothing, man. Couldn't believe it. You guys didn't see anything at all? Squat nah. Down too. Walked up here and, and poked over into these next couple of bases. What's it like up there? Pretty nice? Yeah, it's nice. But beautiful morning. Oh, I'd love some porridge. Okay. I'm going to take my jacket off though. It's getting bloody hot. It's getting hot now. Catherine made me some porridge. Thanks, Catherine. Yeah. Gotta look after you. So this is our base camp here, guys. We've got the two MSR tents just set up here, and we had a big fly up here, but we took it down because that weather yesterday would have just probably sent it to the next country. That wind was way too gnarly to have that up, so we put, packed it down. But yeah, this has been our little home base. Pretty cool location, just doesn't seem like there's too much animals handy. But for you new guys, I'll introduce the team to you. This is Catherine, my partner. Hello. And over here, my brother from Mother Mother, Joe Fluidy. If you've watched the channel, you would have seen myself and Joe Fluidy. We've guided together, we've filmed together, we've made some cool productions. Joe's here for the whole season and we're going to make an epic hunting series for you guys to enjoy. Home sweet home lately, right here guys. From here we can see so much good country, but finding some good animals has been our problem. Got some massive fog up issues. <laughs> Lens fog. Yeah. Oh no. It is. It is going back though. It sucks. Ice on the tents this morning, a little bit of snow powdered up in the hills. As soon as that sun pops over, the temperature just boosts. So all our lenses, all our camera gear just fogs up. It's a pain in the ass really, eh? Got a little charging platform happening up here, guys. All the in reaches are on charge. Joe's got some of his camera batteries sitting out there in the sun. So those are the Biolite 20,000 milliamp power banks. Good power banks, man, real good power banks. Yeah, we've been impressed with the Biolite gear, eh? Yeah, the Biolite gear has been real good. They do huge range of stuff too. We've got quite a bit of Biolite stuff. We've got a solar panel as well. Pretty ideal for a situation like this. I've been using that to charge GoPro batteries and things like that. The head torches are, um, are amazing. Are real good. Really happy with those, eh? Biolite head torches, Joe's saying. They've been real good too. Head down to your nearest hunting and fishing. Biolite. Have a look for them. All right, guys, we're loaded. We've got our packs on. We're leaving one tent there with the rest of our camp. And then we've got enough supplies, enough gear. It'll last us probably five days, maybe more, whatever. Just getting Catherine's pack all ready for her. Joe's tightening it up. <laughs> no. it is, it's sort of... Once we're all sorted here, we're on the trail, man. Let's go. How heavy is your pack, Joe? Oh, feeling today. <laughs> Way heavier than yours anyway, so... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I like that you caught that on video. <laughs> Easy does it. Just had to go up and around. Little bend in the river. We'll drop back down on the riverbed down here if we can. Just coming out into the clearing guys. We're gonna slowly sneak our way out here glassing up on these faces. Looks pretty good, real good. Potentially set up in those trees right there, just got a glass. 
Get a spotter out and see what we can see. I reckon we should, man. Yeah. Bit of a few fresh prints in the mud just back here too, guys. Yeah. That little island there is what Joe's talking about. We'll go and set up in there. Maybe something to walk out pretty shortly. Look at those clearings going up to the scrub, man. Yeah. I think I've got the rear end of the red star in the back of What is it? Fern. <laughs> Staggy looking fern. <laughs> Way too excited. Yeah. Oh, this is looking real good. Let's just find a stag already, eh? <laughs> I reckon. Hey, let's go find a stag already, Joe says. Alright, let's go, guys. Get in here. Oh, it looks amazing through there. We've got some nice, big, open faces up here. Big clearings in amongst the scrub. Time to get comfortable. A couple of spikers have walked out. Just up there on the other side of Catherine. That's pretty cool. Glassing up this face and glassing up the up the mountain up there. And Joe spotted them right here, come out of the bush, down onto the flat in front of us. It's really cool. And there's now four spikers up there. A couple of them are play fighting. It's a pretty hard case. See them, Catherine. Hard out North America vibes, eh? Yeah, man. So nice down there. Back up in the island's really good, eh? Don't turn around. Unless with those two spikers going for Pretty excited to see what's over this hill here. Running out of light real quick now, guys. We've just had a real good glass up there. But nah, it's fading real fast, so we're gonna carry on down the valley, get down there for the night. Then like we might see something pretty close on these flats, walking down, there's heaps of sign around. Going pretty positive after seeing those deer though. At least we know four spikers living here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put my back on and let's go. What's that? Don't bother putting your back on me. What, just leave it here? Just drag it. Drag it? <laughs> yeah, come no, on. Just... Nah. Just jokes. You're just a rooster, just eh? Jokes. Oh, oh, muscle it. Oh, oh, muscle it, G. <laughs> Say that, wouldn't you? Today we've had a bit of a 
chilled out day at camp. It was raining pretty heavily this morning. Hung out there for the day until that weather sort of passed. Then this afternoon we've packed the gear and we're going to go hunting. Catherine and myself are heading along. Joe's actually gone ahead and we're just splitting up a little bit trying to cover a bit more country with the binos. The final plan is we're going to meet up at that big tree where we saw those two first spikers yesterday. And hopefully someone can find some animals. It's shaping up to be a nice evening though weather wise so far. We've got some nice faces to look at between here and Joe Flirty so hopefully we can pick up a big beastie or two. Just got a couple of chamois up here, guys. Oh, no, there's one below it, too. There's two. Yeah, two there. Yeah. We've just got the camera on it now, guys. I'm going to send Joe F an in reach message. Tell him we've seen these chamois. See how far away he is. We're just watching these two up here. I'm pretty sure they're both does, but Catherine's just spotted another one up here by itself. Good spotting, Catherine. <laughs> I might have another one. Oh, yeah. It's um, exactly the same height to the right. Heading towards that third one that Catherine spotted. Right there, guys. See him there? So Joe F's on his way over. We're just going to sit here and watch his face. This chamois here that's in the frame at the moment is the only one we can't ID properly. I don't have the monitor for the big camera, so we can't punch in on it. And Joe's got the spotting scope. So yeah, pretty cool place to sit for the evening anyway. Keep watching and glassing because with any luck, big stag might walk out up there too. This situation right here just shows how valuable a good pair of binos are for your hunting. I mean, you look at that face up there, a lot of places for animals to hide. Good quality binoculars are needed in a situation like this, hands down. Most important piece of equipment that we have, I would say. I'm running some Leupold Pro Guide 10x42s. Catherine is running some... Leupold BX2 Alpines. Do you like them? Oh, they are amazing. Catherine actually spotted two of these chamois, so there you go. Invest in some good quality binoculars, guys. I fully back that statement. Head down to your local hunting and fishing and look through a few pairs, see which ones you like the best, and make sure you've got them on your next hunt. How many foot miles has this saved us too? You can see so much just sitting here with a decent pair of binos. All right, Joe just turned up. What does it look like? Well, see the grass strip? There's two up top of that, and then there's two over here. And one of them over here, we can't really ID. I'm pretty sure those two are does, but we should put the spotter on it just in case. But one over here, I'm not sure what it is, man. It's just gone and stood on top of a, a big rock up there. Almost has bases like a bike. Got it? It might even be bedded, is it? I think it's just gone over there. It's getting cold now, guys. I'm gonna put a jacket on. Stag o'clock. It's that time of night where if the stag's gonna come out, it's gonna come out pretty shortly. So you'll notice that we're all sitting on these green mats. Now that's actually a traverse bed roll. We got that at hunting and fishing, just your standard camping bed roll. We've cut it up into sections, just butt sized sections. You put it on the back of your pack, carry it around, it's light as. You can sit down in the wet grass and not get a wet butt. Try one of these little foam seats, go and get yourself a bed roll, cut it into small sections, and take it into the hills with you. And that's this episode's field tip, brought to you by your local hunting and fishing. Yes, stops my bum from getting cold and wet. <laughs> Come on, stags. Thank you. We'll see you back at camp. Okay. So me and Joe are gonna, for that last bit of daylight, just be nice to see some new country. Doesn't look like much happening up here with deer activity, so got a bit of light left. We'll go down there and see what we can find. <sighs> nice little mound we're gonna set up on. Good view up there, guys. That's where we saw those deer yesterday. Getting pretty dark now, guys. No joy tonight for us, unfortunately. Nice evening, eh, Joe? Oh, it's a stunning evening. Even though we're not seeing any animals, it's still good to be taken away from these moments, eh? We've got a real nice stream coming up here. The sun's going down, it's like pink and blue. And the moon's up above us, it's such a nice evening. Just lacking animals. But it's still better to be here than anywhere else. So nice. You guys know the drill. If we see something, we'll let you know. Otherwise, we'll catch you tomorrow. Look at the state of my gloves, man. Thanks. <laughs> Climbing up too many rocks. Yeah. Picking your nose more like it. Yeah. <laughs> and that. And 
another day. And Show me. Go something? Yeah. Because Shemi, right up by itself, right up in that, that glacier looking creek up there. Oh, yeah? I wonder if we should get the spotter on it, man. Yeah, get the spotter on Yep. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's just by himself, eh? Doesn't look like the big buck we're looking for. It looks like a buck, but I mean, it's no monster, eh? Would you agree? I think it's just a young one, eh? Buck that needs a few more years, you know? Still cool to see though. First proper identifiable buck we've seen on this trip, man. But we really want a big stag. <laughs> <laughs> he's just feeding in that little rock shoot up there, eating the moss or who knows what. Eating dirt. It looks like he's just, yeah, it looks like he's chewing on rocks. That's how they grow up to be big and strong, eating rocks. <laughs> <laughs> We've just spotted another two more up here, which could be our one from last night. We're going to get the spotter on them, just to have another check. They've just fed out of the scrub and they moved moved into that grassy strip. Looks like they're just grazing away. I've just split up from the other two and I'm just making my way up this creek, just trying to get a different angle on this mountain up here. Get up to this next corner. Got a sham up here, guys. Let's see what it is. Hopefully, a buck. Hopefully, a buck. You can probably just see it there. I'm gonna head up this creek more and see if I can get a better view up at it. Looks like it's feeding its way around the edge of that bluff. So, we'll head up here and see if we can get a better look. <coughs> so, it looks like a doe and a young one up here. I've just looked further to the right. I just happened to be looking in the exact right spot and the chamois just walked out of the scrub and stood on a rock right in the frame of my binos. A few chamois up here, it's good. Real good to see. Two more, two more chamois a bit further up the ridge. One of them there looks like it could be quite a good buck. I'm gonna message the guys on the end reach and see if Joe and Catherine can come up here. Alright guys, Catherine and Joe are here now, we're all just regrouping. He's matched up with that doe and that young one from earlier. They've all come across onto this left hand side. Let's make it happen man. So they're about 490 from here. Old looking animal man. What's that? Old looking animal. He's pretty solid standing up there, eh? Yeah. The buck's just moving into a little gut there, but me and Joe are trying to figure out how we're going to approach it. We could go up this creek here. But there's two other chamois out to the right. These other two might be able to see us, and if we're too low down in that creek, we're not going to be able to see up there anyway. Unless we use these beech trees, man, like, because that's quite open on this face here. Yeah. Mm. Maybe even able to climb one or something. <laughs> we're good at that. Surely, if we get low enough eh, and stick to that side, we should be right. Yeah, man, I reckon. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 390, we've got him at. We're going to set up here. Just moved out of sight. Well, that's so. right, he's gonna probably move around in front of us. We're just gonna shoot up on this hill up here. He's dropped out of sight, and we're gonna get a bit more height to look down in that scrub. I don't have the best spots to shoot from, but we should be able to make it work. Right here, somewhere? I hope so, bro. Yeah, I should be able to, should be able to shoot from that. I got 340 to him. Come on, baby. Looks like we got time, man. Looks like he's just ripping up a bush. Three, four, zero, four point one five. Steep, hey? Right, gnarly. Yeah. 
He's sort of behind the bush. Okay, let's just watch that one. I just saw a flash of, of a back. We'll just let it walk out a bit. Are those other two still up on the cliff? Yeah. Right, I think we got them, guys. Oh, bro, that, that's the grey ass up here. Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's him, bro. Yeah. What do you reckon? I'm recording when you. Okay. Ready. Bolts down. Yeah. Safety's off. Safety. Are you ready? Yep. I wonder if I just take him right there. Ready? Good shot, bro. Down? Load him up. Load him up. Good shot, bro. Is he down? Yeah, man. Woo! <laughs> bro! <laughs> Safety's well, off. Because there's a few. You can see that other sham? Yep. Just widening the scope out a bit. Nice shot, bro. Yeah. That was really good. Nice, man. All right, there's two chamois going up. See those chamois? It took like, what was that, 45 minutes? Yeah, man. It took 45 over. minutes. We were think, starting to think the worst. It turns out he was just feeding in the scrub. The two does were, the two does were just above the scrub. We could see them, but he was nowhere to be seen. We'd. Well, I was thinking, I was thinking he's seen us and he's snuck out the back door or something. Yeah. But we just waited on him and eventually he popped out of the scrub. He could have easily fed in the scrub for the rest of the night and we just wouldn't have seen him. <laughs> it's crazy. Nice cover up there. It's crazy how thick it is up there, right? Eh? Oh, you just get glimpses of them up there, guys. Oh man, that's awesome, Joe. Nice, bro. He's a real, real old, mature looking buck. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Right, man, rifle's empty. Nice, bro. <laughs> Put it there, man. Hey, here I come round. Jeepers. Catherine! Woohoo! Nice, bro. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Catherine's yelling down there. We left Catherine down at the packs, as you know. Oh, bro. I can't believe that, man. Dude. Yeah, that was good, though. <laughs> I'm stoked man. 20 past 4. We've got a little bit of a mesh to do before dark. <laughs> it's going to be a sweat going up there bro. <laughs> it's going to be gnarly but it's going to we'll make it happen. Right we're going to leave a little bit of gear for Catherine to come get and take back to our little gear pile. Me and Joe are going to boost up there. It's going to take us a long time to get up there. It's pretty gnarly. Catherine can spot us and help us get onto the buck from down here. She's got the spotting scope. Woo! Come a long way already. Hey, baby. Up there's where we're going. They had the legs burning. We're right on him. We think he's just here somewhere. Right. Gotta be here. Let's go find him. Looks a lot different from up here, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, man. Oh, oh right, here he is. Here he is, bro. Oh, man. Right here. Right here, guys. Yeah, Joe. Awesome, bro. <laughs> I'll drag him out here. Oh. Yes. Woo. Look at that. Get him out, eh? Nice, bro. <laughs> I was watching the go, bro. <laughs> yeah. Nice, Work it. Awesome, man. Yes. Let's have a look at him. Finally got my buck after that. Yeah, redemption buck. Eh? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. We had heaps of time to set up this time, unlike the last. Nah. The last right. buck. Couldn't be happier, man. So stoked with that. Really stoked to be able to take out a nice one like this. This is what we come in here for. That's right, man. So, real stoked. Plenty of good meat. Shammy bear sticks. <laughs> salami. Go salami. salami. A good, easy shot for the Bagara, especially after putting it on Dan's range recently. Good, comfortable shot. Yeah, highly recommend going and seeing Dan if you're down in that area before you go on a big hunt. Doesn't hurt to put a few rounds through the rifle on Dan's range. We'll leave the link in the description below for that one, of course. Big thanks to Marty, too, for pulling it apart and finding those loose screws. Yeah. So, Marty, hunting and fishing, you're a freaking legend, bro. I prefer looking at your rifle and looking at your gear is never going to be a mess, eh? I'm just an arrow flinging Central North hunter and Joe's just a gender wearing pig hunter, so it's good, <laughs> it's good to go to the people that know what's good, eh? So. Such a cool hunt and we hope you guys enjoyed that one. So thanks for sticking around to the end. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. <laughs> Out there doing it with Jay Wild, brought to you by your local hunting and fishing.
kick this place out, guys. What do you reckon, Joe? She's just down the road. What do you think, Catherine? Pretty good. I think I might make a house right here. <laughs> Amazing river valley. Pretty cool, man, pretty cool. Deer sign everywhere. Bit different this morning, guys. Look at the size of these snowflakes coming down. It's snowing really heavy this morning. <laughs> Over here at Stag Camp, wow. Chamois butt camp, can't find any stags. Far out. It's gonna be white here in not too long at all. Yep, 